putting the finishing touches on Stephen Carey's resort-inspired backyard. Our goal was to maintain the integrity of this Spanish-style home while creating a staycation getaway for this busy family. Okay, Stephen Carey, it's time to see your new outdoor space. Whoa! Wow, I'm speechless. <laughs> what hotel, where yeah, are exactly. what hotel are we at? Come on down, let me show you around. Well, you know, I, this has been a great marriage between you guys. You know, we entered the picture at the time that you were laying out the hardscaping. I think at that time you were kind of worried about starting to think in advance. How were you really going to get that resort feeling? Part of the resort feeling was achieved by using the dining room table as the centerpiece of the stage. For height and drama, we placed a Kentia Palm in its center. Then, by flanking the table with two sofas, they can easily accommodate six to eight people. How do you think we did with the, uh, the tile choices on the stairs? I love them. The, the two ones that you naturally gravitated towards, you, not only do we love them too, understanding the principle that you don't want to get so exaggerated, because you can see with them all in now, they take up a lot of dominance in the space. You know, it's like a piece of jewelry. You don't want to overdo. So the tiles you used around there were perfect because they blend well with the water. But these kick up a notch because so much of the brown in here is part of your woodwork and takes you right into the kitchen, so congrats. One of the most signature things that you can do in an outdoor space to give it that resort feeling is the fabric. The idea here is you want to keep it simple. You know, geometrics or solid colors is really as far as you want to go because the prints will be the first to date outdoor spaces just like indoor spaces. Right. And if you want to keep it timeless and you want it to keep it classic, you want to kind of stay within those two areas. So here, the idea was to keep it really tailored because we want to make sure that you're happy with it, but also give it the color and the kind of romance that we think you would like too. So how do you choose a stripe and not to put a stripe on your cushions? We think of the stripe as being the accent color. Okay. okay? That accent color is very much like the drapery. You can do pretty strong on drapes, but when it gets to the investment in your furniture, you want to keep that neutral. Okay. Because, you know, this takes up far more visual dominance actually than this does. And if your tastes ever change, it's going to be easier to replace six panels than it is right. for the furniture that okay. you've already purchased. Now you'll notice we use several fabrics throughout the space, in the tie backs, in the complementary pillows, and in the stripes. Now in the stripes especially, this is where the color scheme for the rest of the whole area came from. You see the lime green. That goes from being an accent color here to the primary color here. Okay. And it's that strong, confident, dramatic color that resorts do that you respond to. Okay, so all the colors that you see in here are all throughout the space evenly. Now, we started you out with a couple of umbrellas by the chaises, but this table also accommodates an umbrella too. Oh. So if you feel you want to transform this into a shade device, just the straight white marker umbrellas are perfectly fine for here. We put the chaises down here because we felt that it would elongate and provide a little bit more seating. When you're not using the sports court and you want to entertain a little bit more, these two chaises flanking the pool facing this way with the two accompanying umbrellas there will be beautiful. Then it's dressed all the way around. Okay. And that's where you don't end up with an empty space when you really need more seating or you want a little bit more visual. Right. One of the things that you had talked about initially was that you wanted a water feature. Yes. Then, you built the water feature into the pool. <laughs> yes, we did. So we added a smaller fountain here, even though that wall could take a much bigger fountain, because we still felt that when that wasn't on, just a little trickle of the water would be nice. Came out fantastic. Terrific, thank you. It was thank fun doing it for you. We love thank it. You. As the lines continue to blur between professional work and personal downtime, we will continue to find innovative new ways to have that five-star experience right in our own backyard. Because you've got to smell the roses more than once a year, right? I'm Christopher Lowell. Bye for now.